And it goes down! First wipe of the game in, within two minutes. Typical Von Ivan game. Meanwhile, this section has a very poor retreat path, but so does the Stern Pioneer. Assault section closing in. Doing a lot of damage here. Could be blocking. Yes, indeed! Stern Pioneer going down. Storm Jagger returning the favor. What an opening here. Yo, yo, yo to another cast. Name's Alpern. And today we're checking out a game between none other than Von Ivan here playing as the OKW forces, already locking in the Overwatch Doctrine. Very exciting stuff. Facing off against him, we have none other than the Brits, which is of course piloted by none other than Storm Jagger here, going for the Land Lease Assault Regiment, which of course, you know, has the Assault Infantry sections. Uh, we are not seeing the 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 infamous by this point, uh, Twisted Tootsie opening here, where you go mortar first into sections, but we do see a bit more, a bit more, I would say, standard opening here with getting a, a normal section first into the infantry sections. But yeah, exciting stuff. We are of course fighting here on Nexus, map made by uh, none other than White Flash Reborn, the legendary map maker. And this, of course, this map is a tournament map. You see it in, very often, both in tournaments and auto match, because it's very beloved by all players. Uh, hopefully. We will see more maps such as this one in the future, both for Code 2 and for Code 3, of course. But yeah, the first couple of captures going in seems to be slow capture for both players. Uh, we do see this section basically rushing the fuel node here to get that sandbag up. Of course, using the the uh, benefits of the sections, getting the uh, the better accuracy while behind green cover. Meanwhile, we have Von Ivan here going for a very normal, uh, most likely four false grenadiers into battle group, is what I'm assuming. Uh, we have seen, uh, you know, Von Ivan doing some very crazy strats before, and with this commander, he does like getting those Goliaths, so hopefully this will be a interesting game. So we have the first couple of engagements here. Von going on the advance, on the, or on the offensive rather, in the north. Assault sections about to stop this from happening though. Immediately getting focused, fired by Von. In the south, the folks did get forced away. Meanwhile, in the north, it's the clear opposite. Section getting very low even here. That's the second one as well, could potentially even go down here. Especially if it follows. Oh, that's a pixel of HP. And it goes down! First wipe of the game in, within two minutes. Typical Von Ivan game. Meanwhile, this section has a very poor retreat path, but so does the Stern Pioneer. Assault section closing in. Doing a lot of damage here. Could be blocking. Yes, indeed! Stern Pioneer going down. Storm Jagger returning the favor. What an opening here. Folks now in the same position. Already down half HP. Assault sections have, however, dropped a couple models, so it's going to be having a bit less DPS output. And it doesn't get quite the strong block as before, so these folks are seemingly going to get away, but... What an opener! I definitely would say that's that's in favor of the Storm Jagger. The Storm Pioneer is way more... or not way more, but it does, it does make a larger blow to OKW teching and build order, losing the Storm Pioneer, than it does losing a section, for sure. But yeah, Folk somehow trading very well versus these two sections here, forcing the assault section away, and is probably going to be winning this as well, considering how low this section squad was. Yes, indeed. Heroes right there, going 1v2 and coming out of top, as the rest of the German reinforcements are here to capture the map. For five, fifth Folk, no Stern Pioneer rebuild. I'm wondering if this is a misclick from Von. We also have a Goliath immediately queued up as soon as he hits one command point. Very interesting stuff. Meanwhile, Storm Jagger here getting that healing out. Uh, of course, when you have assault sections, you can't really rely on the uh, the medical supplies of your sections. Uh, so I think this is a solid pickup. Another option is, of course, also to use the M5 half track as an ambulance and heal via via garrisoning your squads. But that's quite micro intensive, right? But yeah, here we go. Goliath is coming out, but we have <laughs> one, two, three, four, five folks out for Von. 
Uh, of course, fighting only three combat squads here for Storm Jagger. And surely he's hearing this through the fog of war here. He most likely heard that. I would be surprised if that wasn't the case. As the sections are trading very well here versus the folks. But of course, Vaughn has so many of them. We do see the Stern Pioneer rebuilt here, so no teching whatsoever for Vaughn within the first five minutes. Uh, his opponent is getting the uh, Assault Office right now, so he has uh, teched for Platoon Command Post. Uh, no AEC requisition, however, but I think that's a good read. There won't be a light vehicle for quite some time for Vaughn, except for these Goliaths, of course, if you if you call them light vehicles. I don't know what their, what their category is. Yeah, another Folks here. Actually, Imperial could go down here. Assault sections don't do a lot of damage on these ranges, but... You know, it's so little HP that they could have potentially gone down there. Assault sections just doing so much damage. Meanwhile, Vaughn here, busy just planting his traps. Spreading out the Goliaths across the map here. We have number uno and number dos. See if I can. Can't for some reason. Never mind. But yeah, first Goliath is revealed here. What? One didn't even react. Storm Jagger reacted faster. That's a bit of a surprise, not gonna lie. I don't know what one is micring. Healing, I guess. Quite unfortunate for him. It totally could have been if he was fast enough to kill that. But yeah, we do have an M5 half track out here for Storm. Could get the quad mount as soon as he has the munitions for it, which makes it quite a uh, quite a dangerous vehicle. Yeah, there we go. Queued up. We also see his sandbags here, a bit far away actually from the node. I wonder if Von Ivan could potentially get squeeze a squad in here and also use this green cover. I'm not sure. Bit hard to tell. We'll see once it's up though. I uh, usually want it to put it as close as possible to the flag, and that way your opponent can't use the cover. But yeah, you can see here, his opponent can actually use this cover against him, uh, squeezing by there. So that's not as optimal as it could be, but of course if you're micring all over the place, it can be hard to be, to be exact. Yeah, not using the Goliath for that one, which makes sense. There is a lot of uh, Goliaths here. M5 could see a very short lifespan if it drives too close. We also see the white phosphorus rounds here, here used from the assault section. And whoa! We had another Stern Pioneer wipe there. I did not see that. No idea how that happened. And Falk's now in peril as well. Both of them actually. Could go down. Here comes the Goliath chasing down the assault squad. Is he going to get both? Almost gets the M5 as well. And there goes the other one, almost deleting this assault section. Not quite though, surviving with a pixel of HP. But yeah, <laughs> that's <laughs> trading another loss there. Losing the assault squad for the Stern Pioneer. <laughs> almost getting this section as well. As he queues up another Goliath, he is not done with it. He thinks Storm Jagger has not learned his lesson. And Folks here once again, I would say this is overextended. You have such a long retreat path and having both the assault section as well as the M5 on retreat, that's a lot of damage. Meanwhile, Vonnir going for mechanized. We see a Puma in the build, definitely off meta here. Yeah, this Folk is going to have a bad retreat. No uh, body attempt blocking from the, the assault section there. But probably wouldn't get him anyway, you know. But you could probably optimize the damage a bit more using uh, Kimbo tactics. Rest in peace. The Goliath is going to 
seemingly used the crater of his uh, friend here to hide. Very interesting. And here comes the Puma. Of course, Sections has no snares. There is nothing stopping this except for the six pounder. But even then, you know, Puma has smoke. Puma is super fast. And there is no snares on the field for Sturm Jagger. M5 sees its end there. And now the actually six pounder is in trouble. Puma delivers an amazing shot there. It's not too usual it does that, but sometimes it does. Get a direct hit like that. But yeah, I could potentially see the six pounder be decrewed here. Does seemingly get away though. Also see him trying attempting here to scavenge this, but Assault section on retreat path once again. Von playing very risky. Six pounder does manage to get a parting blow on the Puma. Sets up again. Oh, what an attack ground attempt there. Connect and Puma might go down to the small arms fire here of the Thompsons. Oh. <laughs> That's so close. That's so close. Of course, you know, the, the range doesn't really matter. Versus the light vehicles, accuracy don't really come into play once you're fighting vehicles because their hitboxes are so much larger than uh, than infantry. Now could have almost sees his end there, you know. He doesn't have the repairs, getting that stern pioneer back out as we speak. He's going to need one, both for you know healing and repairs. So he can't just grab the the repairs on the mechanized because you need the healing as well, right? So I think that's a solid choice. Meanwhile. Storm Jagger here rebuilding the assault officer. He wants one seemingly. Also taking up right now uh, to the company command post. A Cromwell is approximately a minute away, slightly more than a minute. With queue time it's obviously going to be about two minutes. But it is cooking. Meanwhile, Goliath moving up to his other friend. Oh, grenade! Oh, it's the white phosphorus, but that's going to be very bad, because, you know, they're taking damage, and then the sections can just kill. The both these folks might actually go down here. We see another one used, taking even more damage. Meanwhile, air landing officer in trouble. As both players are microing out of their minds here. Storm Jagger really trying to capitalize on these folks overextending. Ah, uh, Can't quite get the drops he needs. Almost gets one though. But he, for some reason I think he started targeting the other squad. Should really have been focus firing there. He definitely would have seen one go down. What is that? That's not a Cromwell is it? I think that's a... Yeah, that's a Centaur. Or a Kentor. However the fuck you pronounce it, we see a infantry wiping squad in the build here. Surely the Puma is going to do that quite fine versus that unit. Yeah, meanwhile, Vaughn here keeps pumping out the Goliaths and what I thought would be tier 4, you know, P4 isn't that far away. He actually goes battle group here. Not quite sure why, he could just use, you know, healing from the the stern pile, but maybe he wants to save munitions for more Goliaths, I don't know. But yeah, Panzer IV would definitely have been quite not far away at all if he went for tier 4 here. But yeah, the Centaur, Cantor, half horse, half man, is out on the field. Could potentially drive straight into this Goliath. Seemingly Von doesn't care, he wants the capture. It's just like Gallipoli, he doesn't care about the human lives, he just wants the map. He wants the ground taken, at all costs. Folks getting very low here. 
Oh! Sorry, I missed that totally. But yeah, one assault infantry section went down there. So that's another loss for Storm Jagger to the Goliaths. No idea how, how Von Ivan is pulling this off, to be honest. Meanwhile, we see Vaughn here seemingly trying to get tier 4 up right now. Of course, has the Puma. Also has the actually the aim shot here. Which could actually prove to be quite dangerous for the, the Centaur Cantor. Of course, this section could have a bad retreat path. Goliath could simply zip up. The retreat path goes through here. Meanwhile, in the north, Centaur is making it hard for one to really leave his base here. But yeah, Goliath did not attempt a wipe there. Probably didn't want to push his luck if there was a second unit guarding the retreat path. So I think that makes totally good sense. You know, Vaughn doesn't have uh, IO Sauron like I do, where I can see everything. Uh, so if there was a second squad here, you know that Goliath would be stopped before doing any damage whatsoever. So Von Ivan probably going for the safe route here. Yeah, Puma is now fully repaired. And all of Von Ivan's forces are fully healed. We have a new normal section out for Storm. I'm a bit surprised by that, to be honest. Uh, surely getting a vanilla assault section is better. But maybe he's thinking, you know, the Goliaths can really stop the assault section push. I don't know. Might be, you know, a soft Goliath counter. That might be his thinking. But yeah, Centaur is about to get snared here. Could give Puma the opening he needs. You know, there's still no snares on the field. All he needs to do is to avoid that six pounder. All infantry squads can have an additional infantryman. Oh, grenade on the stern panier getting very low. Does manage to survive somehow though. Centaur is uh, still damaged because Storm Jagger never had a engineer. He's getting one right now though. It is in queue. Meanwhile, it seems Von Ivan has realized there isn't any AT except for that six pounder on the field. Could be trying for something cheeky here. Definitely is an option. Also, you know, Stormjager has to be beware around this Puma. It now has the aim shot, which means it can wipe one model squads on retreat. Not something you want to be underestimating. But yeah, Goliaths are in position. While the pioneers are going out of base, we have Brands coming out for his sections. I wonder if we'll get some on the uh, assault sections. I doubt it. Would be interesting though, right? I don't know. Probably is quite shit here, right? Oh! Von being quite greedy with that one. I don't know why I wanted to get that far up. But yeah, one Goliath is thrown for nothing. But oh no! Oh, it seems the assault officer survived that time. Could have been the second assault officer dying to Goliath this game. So that could have definitely seen potential of happening. Yeah, six pounder getting a couple shots in there on the Puma. And the section retreating here. Did Stormjager spot this? No way, right? He must have just heard it. I think he heard it. He's gonna go up and attack around it right now. He's going for that. Could have gone for the officer instead. Interesting. Yeah, we have another Goliath out. 
in the first buddy's crater once again. Basically guarding his uh, resting place. Meanwhile, Vaughn here. 230 fuel. Tier 4 is up. Not getting any vehicles though. Is this a King Tiger stall? King Tiger is approximately 2 minutes away, if I've done my math correctly. So we could see one, for sure. But yeah, Storm Jagger now has access to the strafing support with the Typhoons, which do a lot of damage to everything. And I don't think we will see Overwatch Sector Assault here, because, you know, he wants the Goliaths, right? Oh, another Folks goes down there to the Assault Squad as well as the Centaur. Very nice uh, use of uh, Storm Jaeger's units here, I feel. And probably a bit too aggressive from Van Ivan trying to get these very deep capture points. When there's so many high DPS squads on Storm Jaeger's side, you know, he just keeps getting punished for that. Oh! Ah, oh, run! <laughs> Vaughn not quite getting the wipe he's looking for there, but he does force the squad away. Though that's quite an expensive retreat, 100 munitions for Vaughn. So let's see here, what's Storm Jagger up to? He has tech for the hammer specialization, meaning he will get access to the comets. And of course you also get the emergency war speed on your vehicles and uh, the gamma bombs. Oh, center getting snared here though. As the King Tog <laughs> Tiger rolls out the field, Puma is under a peristal. That means the center will be off the field for a couple minutes. Yeah, King Tiger was the stall, was the plan for Vaughn all along here. And you know, you can't really flank it as deep, right? Because you have the fear of Goliaths holding the, the retreat path of the King Tiger. Very interesting here from Vaughn. As he really hates the floor of this map, apparently. It takes a shot at the tree there. About to reverse into the six pounder, seemingly. Not sure if Storm Jagger has spotted. There we go. Should be in line of sight now. <laughs> Almost instantly blaps that assault into the section. Meanwhile, we have a major offensive in the north. But oh, six pounder almost goes down there. Very low. Sweepers across the map, so no snare is possible. Second six pounder is in position to defend the retreat, though. But yeah, Puma seemingly going in deep here. Centaur in trouble. King Tiger makes another attempt at the six pounder. As the Royal Engineer stopping any further advance with the risk of getting snared. As the sections change fire to focus on the Puma. Very interesting there. You know, especially on the rear, right? It has very li li little uh, armor, so small arms fire can once again pan it. A capture point is being overrun. That hurts to see. 
assault section just marching up. But oh, what do we have here? Seemingly prioritizing the VPs there. We'll check in on that though. Oh, gammon bomb this time around. No, uh, no white phosphorus. Oh wait, sorry, this assault. This is assault officer. Light gammon bomb. My apologies. I thought it was an assault section. My bad. <laughs> King Tiger almost up. Yes, we have. Ah! Somehow survives. Once again, I think that's the second time. I think the Thompsons might actually be killing Goliath before it gets close enough. I think that might actually be the case. I don't think that's Von detonating them. But yeah, here we go. King Tiger is now fully repaired. Small Papa and large Papa. Our capture point. They're trying to take it. As we see a lot of damage going down here. No wipes, however. Sturmpanir almost goes down. King Tiger taking a lot of heat from the six pounders. There we go. A comet is in construction for Storm Jagger, so it's going to get that heavier vehicle as well. We have the father and son duo here. Receiving effective fire. Yeah, this canter is definitely trying to bait when I even forces into the double 80 gun there. Quite interesting. And here comes the Comet. Folks in trouble. Retreating, but they're already half HP. The Comet gets a couple good hits here. And it bounces the King Tiger shot. Uh, somehow the Kentor gets snared. Potentially goes down to the Stern Pioneer here. Not even attempting to run away anymore. Basically giving up on that one. Oh! Another assault infantry section. Oh, actually, the final one beats the dust. And the Kentor goes down as well. But will the Stern Pioneer get out? We also have a grenade here. Light Gammon Bomb from the assault officer, but it does miss. Well, the Comets can't quite get the shot it needs here. to take a point from us. We have Piats, I've been told they're pronounced on the engineers here. Quite nice, they are very heavy damage actually, um, versus the King Tiger. But there we go, Comet gets his blap shot of his own, Folks goes down. Returning the favor essentially for the wipe down in the, the, the south southwest. Yeah, Von now actually has access to the Sector Assault here, and it, the strafing support is almost ready as well. Meanwhile, Von can get another vehicle, perhaps a Panzer IV, but I think he would have already queued it then. I think a, a Panther might be his, uh, his vehicle of choice here. Puma just bounces off the Comet over and over. Finally we see a pen. I think that was the fifth round penning. King Tiger now hits Vet 1. 22 kills on this bad boy by the way. Enemy 
Meanwhile, Comet here, quite outgunned, I must say. Six pounders will cover the retreat. King Tiger can't get too far, but here we go. Both the strafing support as well as the sector assault coming in. King Tiger getting very low. Where is the, the typhoons? Might see this go down here. Here we go. Goes down to the typhoons. Combat now charging in. Puma connecting. So, Stern Panier, Puma bouncing. Meanwhile, we will see the, uh, the Stukas coming in here. Where are they? Seems they're focusing the infantry. As the Puma dives into two six pounders. You have the Royal Engineer here as well, which has access to the snares as well as the Piat. Puma gets snared. Puma about to go down. Vaughn has no units left. Stern Pioneer bites the dust as well somehow. I'm guessing the planes once again. Comet just retreating to safety across the map. I'm not quite sure what the Puma's plan is here. But I do think this game is over. Or is it? Look at Von Ivan's resources. It might not even be over here. I mean, we know, you know, Von Ivan is good at coming back, so... Game might not be over. Look at the amount of resources. Could probably just get the King Tiger back in just a couple minutes. Yeah, quite the engagement right there. Not quite as decisive as I thought, because Von Ivan is somehow still in this. Uh, I can't see the cooldown here on the King Tiger, because, you know, the replay only lets me see the first five, not the sixth ability. But I'm guessing, you know, King Tiger has about three minutes before it, uh, it uh, you can recall it. And I don't know when it died, I'm afraid. But it must have been just a minute ago, so... As soon as those times that uh, cooldown has gone through, it will be back, but it will be facing two comets this time around. As well as, of course, the double six pounder and the Piat engineer. Oh, this brings me back to old times. <laughs> the folks picked up the dropped uh, Stern Pioneer Shrek here. So we have a, a Shrek folk, which back in the day used to be folks' uh, normal kit. You used to get uh, two, sh uh, two Shreks on these squads. Uh, so what you did is you just blob them up and then they were anti-everything, <laughs> anti anti essentially. Uh, so yeah, that does bring me back. Funny to see. This comet is uh, chasing down the retreating Germans. Von does not want to risk overstaying here. And here we go, King Tiger is back on the field. Ketten is forced away as well. But King Tiger is here. Comet's moving in though. Could get this uh, Comet off guard here. Pens the first round. Here we have the Shrek Folk though. So these folks are valiantly holding out in the garrison. Meanwhile, the six pounders are moving up to dash some damage. Ooh, section almost goes down there actually. Probably thanks to a strong King Tiger shot. 
Meanwhile, King Tiger does eat a volley from the six pounders. As the comets force away the Ubers. Comets not getting quite the shots they want there. Very lackluster hits. Meanwhile, I'm wondering what the plan is here for Vaughn. Might be saving up for another plane. Don't know what else he really can do here. He has such a smaller force compared to his opponent. 90 comp uh, pop cap compared to 60 and you're playing OKW, right? You usually have pop cap problems. Damned enemies trying to take a point from us. It seems uh, Vaughn did get the repair upgrades on the mechanized. Letting him get some passive repairs without using a stern pioneer, which he of course does not have access to. Yeah, Rakete and connecting ones. Vickers is about to get flanked here. Meanwhile in the south, Folks holding the line. Fully repaired. Ready to go once again. Seems the Royal Engineers are struggling to repair, but Stormjacker did get a second squad to speed up the repairs there of those comets. So abandon it attempt there. Easily dodged by Storm Jagger though. Like, oh shit, the comets have found the raquette and seemingly won't get away. Nope. Two blapping shots back to back, deleting the squad and will now also remove the, the weapon completely from the field. Definitely what uh, Storm Jagger is looking for, you know, he has the mobility here, he can just use the mobility to his advantage. The King Tiger can't be everywhere. And, you know, Van Ivan's forces are already dwindling here. Oh, King Tiger not even attempting to stop this from happening. The Comet could follow all the way to base. We have a Panther queued up here for Vaughn. Very interesting. As these folks are seemingly... Won't make it out alive. Oh. Number one goes down. Number two. Potentially in trouble as well. As the Ubers are forced away by the sections. Here the combats come though, six pounders are in position as well. Airplanes are not quite ready for either player, but I don't think Storm Jagger needs them. Panther is in queue, but it's not out just yet. Here comes the second combat as well. King Tiger driving in circles, making donuts. Six pounder putting a volley into the rear of the King Tiger who goes down. And this sad, sad folks just trying to stop. And this Panther, Steiner. Simply arriving too late to the battlefield. It's basically has to tango with all of Storm Jagger's forces here. As it's just bouncing around, taking all these heavy hitting shots from the six pounders and the comets. 
And the main gun crit on the panther. Now all he has is the Shrek folk. As the Comet valiantly inspects his opponent's base here. And it goes down as well. As the 6 pounder destroys the tier 4. Von Ivan does not give up. He clicks for the Fatherland and charges into the field, which it doesn't do anything. But it does have a lot of scavenge here, potential. <laughs> I don't see him coming back from this messy, messy game, though. Thank you very, very much for Duffman there for the raid. We are in the middle of casting. And it seems Von Ivan should have had enough here. And if throws in GG, GG indeed. What a messy game though. I feel like that wasn't one sided at all. Storm Jagger losing how many squads to the Goliaths and two King Tigers out. <laughs> but GG well played to both players. Uh, let's take a moment here to check out the stats and we can see here Storm Jagger basically asked fatiguing Von Ivan out of units. But yeah, GG well played. And uh, congrats to Stormjagger.